Minecraft is a very versatile game because you can build pretty much anything you want. You can blow stuff up. You can grow a giant forest for no reason. You can breed a bunch of sheep if you feel like it. And you can build some of the greatest things, like I built this giant pyramid out of red sandstone for absolutely no reason, and I was working on a taiga version, kind of, of a woodland mansion. But what if in Minecraft you wanted to build something that was not amazing, was not perfectly fancy, but instead was very rustic and old-fashioned, and not great looking? In this video, that's what I will be covering, is how to change your ordinary home into a very rustic one. Here I have a basic house, probably the ugliest house I have ever built in Minecraft. And walking in, we'll see that it is just a regular house with a few windows and some torches. first thing we're going to do to change this is to replace all of this cobblestone here with mossy cobblestone. Cobblestone does not exist in Minecraft naturally outside of naturally generated structures like dungeons and villages and woodland mansions. So if any cobblestone generates at all, it is mossy cobblestone which can be found in taigas and in dungeons too, but dungeons are also a naturally generated structure so that doesn't count. And we're just going to cover the entire floor here with mossy cobblestone. And you may want to leave some patches of regular cobblestone too, just to make it look more irregular and possibly in a tiny bit of disrepair because, you know, old stuff, it falls apart and looks bad. And the next thing we're going to do is change the roof from regular cobblestone slabs to mossy cobblestone slabs. change that later, it doesn't look great. Thank you. 
Now that we're done with the roof, we need to take a look at the exterior. We're going to replace these columns here with stripped wood because one of the few things uglier than bare cobblestone on a house is stripped wood. And for this wood, we are specifically going to use spruce. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to stick shutters on all the windows to give it more of that old house looking vibe. And notice the irregular placement of the windows. Here the shutter touches the stripped log, but on the other side there is one block between the shutter and the stripped log. The next thing we are going to do is cover part of the exterior with vines. This is just to make it look a little overgrown and rustic. Like, imagine if you just found this old house in the woods that has vines all over it. You'd be thinking, yeah, that's old, right? Now, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add a porch to this house and it will go all the way around. And it doesn't have to be a big porch either, it can just be a two block wide platform. Now just to, just to this part of the house we are going to add some stairs. Be sure that if you're doing this in survival, you get plenty of sleep and don't build at night. If you remember those columns from earlier in the corner of e in each corner of the house, we are going to take those and we are going to make these part of the porch. Make sure that you extend the roof accordingly after extending essentially your house.
And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go back inside and we're going to leave these torches here because like what's more rustic than torches? And what we're going to do is we're going to add none other than a popcorn ceiling because you know old houses have popcorn ceilings and such and we're going to leave it where it is in terms of two blocks off the ground because we're going to keep the ceiling low and that'll be as low as we can make it and if someone walks in and asks you, like, oh, why is your ceiling this color? Just say, it's yellowed with age. And please, if you're not building a rustic house, make the ceiling higher. Your friends will thank you. I think this zombie that just walked in is taller than the the height of the floor to the ceiling. At least with gold helmet. And I guess there are two zombies in here now. Guys, go outside, you're not going to burn. And we have here a rustic house, complete with a porch and covered in vines. <laughs>